What it is, homeboys and homegirls, it is I, the cool kid collector, just chickity chin chilling in Pennywise pub, casually causing some chaos with a course. You know what I'm talking about? When I say what it is, homeboys, I'm about to find out what it will be. Peter Anthony's trailer dropped for motherfucking Rosebud. Blood, sorry, it's the second one. I think it dropped on July 25th, I think. I'm pretty sure this movie takes place about 13 months after Friday the 13th Part 7. That's the one with Tina, the girl with telekinesis and shit. She's like, out of all of the fucking people that went up against Jason, I think that she did, like, gave him the most run for his money. I think Kane Hodder even said that in the documentary, uh... His name was Jason. It's like this fucking four hour goddamn long. It's cool as shit though. But I'm pretty sure Kane Hodder said that too. Um, a lot of fucking Friday the 13th alumni in this. Actors and characters being portrayed by new actors. There's a lot of shit in this. There's a lot of thought that went into this fucking movie, dude. And uh, Peter Anthony is, he's just... I've said it before, he's bringing a fucking breath of fresh air into the Friday the 13th uh, Friday the 13th franchise the same way the fucking lightning bolt did to fucking Jason in part 6, you know what I'm saying? It's just bringing it fucking back to life for us. And I think it's cool, it's fresh ass ideas, he's filling in gaps and holes and uh, telling his own fucking story. I can't believe how fucking good it looks, it's just crazy. I, I'm sick of hearing this shit. Oh, it's a fan film. It doesn't count. Fuck you. Like, some of these fucking fan films, especially these guys, are just like, it's crazy impressive, dude. It really is. Um, So quit fucking judging it before you even see it and, and fucking just get that fan film shit out of your fucking head. Aren't all films fan films? They're made by a fan at some point. I would think someone in the cast or crew has got to be a fucking fan of something. You know what I mean? Quit being a dick squeezer about it. But anyway... I'm going to show you this trailer. It's out on YouTube. I'm going to do a little shit bootleg version because I am the most unconventional YouTuber of all time if you even want to fucking call me a YouTuber. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let you guys watch it and then you guys go back and you watch it on YouTube, the real fucking version, but I just want you to see it with me, okay? So give me a...
well, fuck me to tears. That shit was fucking amazing. Holy fuck. That was fucking dope as shit. I, uh, so there's two timelines. They, they're doing a little bit of it, eight, uh, 13 months after part seven. And then the other is, is uh, the other timeline is 30 years after the fact. Jason looks fucking amazing. I love how they said Rose, like she's the new blood around here. I'm, I'm guess she's got telekinesis powers, like fucking Tina Shepard did. I saw fucking Nick is back. Like, how the fuck do they get these people, man? Uh, why is Doctor Cruz still alive? That's fucking crazy as shit. And uh, fucking Creighton Duke is in it. That's cool. I think he's a part of Fast. Um, that's the training, uh, that's, that's the fucking brain baby of Peter Anthony. Uh, it's, uh, fucking forward assault anomaly strike team. It's this force that he fucking created. Uh, they like, they, their, their object is to like study Jason and shit. And like from the trailer, it looks like they, they fixed them somehow. Um, I'm guessing from like after part nine, when he fucking blew up, they fucking put him back together or some shit. I'm guessing. That's fucking so gangster, dude. I want to know why your motherfucking eyes red. Why wasn't it red in part seven? Why is it red now? Why is Rose's eyes red? There's got to be some kind of connection between those two. I can't believe Nick is back. Like, that's, that, that's fucking cool as shit, dude. And it's like the real guy that fucking played him, too. Kevin Spurtis, I think, is his name. Um, I'm super fucking amped up about this fucking movie. I think it premieres... October fucking fuck. I know it's in Connecticut. November twenty eighth. November twenty eighth. I think in Connecticut. Uh, I would, oh, man, I'd really love to fucking see that shit. Uh, either way, I'm gonna fucking see it regardless. But uh, I'm I'm fucking amped about this, dude. That's some fucking gangster ass shit for real. No one's doing shit like that. All your fan films or whatever, like, they don't do storylines like this. It's just more kids in woods getting fucking killed by a dude in a mask. This shit is super fucking believable. It's tying into the fucking franchise. No one fucking does that shit. That's probably why people fucking hate fan films. Like, oh, it's another fucking movie of him in the woods killing fucking shitty actors. And so they don't bother to watch it. But they need to fucking see shit like this. And this is why I do reviews on shit like this. Because people need to be... They need to fucking know about these things, man. Not everybody knows about a lot of the fan films. Because one, they just don't give a fuck and they don't pay attention. Because they're thrown off by the word fan film. Or they're just not in, like, the Facebook groups where they see the shit. You know what I mean? I'm just lucky to be... To come across this fucking movie and, uh, and be buddies with these people. Like... I've never met them, you know, it's not like we go to each other's fucking cookouts or nothing, but like we're Facebook friends and we talk and I'm just very happy to, uh, to run into these people and meet them, you know, via the internet and just fucking be homies and shit and get to see all this fucking shit. And I, I can't wait to see where it goes from here. Cause I, this can't be the last movie they ever make. They're, they're probably going to make more shit. Who knows if they'll keep doing Friday the 13th or if they'll tackle some other horror franchise. I don't care if they make a romantic fucking comedy. I'm going to watch it, okay? Uh, another thing, too, the last trailer had a kick-ass cover song. I think it was a cover. I got to know the band that did it because I loved it. And I, I think at the end, was that Kiss from a Rose by Seal from the fucking Batman Forever soundtrack? Is that what that was? I need to know what band covers that because I want to hear that motherfucker. But anyway, that's my review for Rose Blood. Go on YouTube and watch the real one instead of my shitty bootleg version of it. Um, uh, this fucking thing is titties and beer, and everybody likes titties and beer.